I gotta read this to you, okay? Okay. A D W A you gotta do this. You advise that any person who operates a motor vehicle or is in actual physical control of a motor vehicle in this state is deemed to have given consent to a chemical test or tests of his his or her blood, breath, or urine for the purpose of determining the alcohol or controlled substance con substance content of his or her breath or blood if the person is involved in an accident while operating or in actual physical control of a motor vehicle. The person is arrested for any offense arising out of an act alleged to have been committed while the person was driving while intoxicated or driving while there was an alcohol concentration of 8 hundredths point zero point zero eight or more in the person's breath or blood. At the time the person is arrested for driving while intoxicated, the law enforcement officer has reasonable cause to believe that the person, while operating or in actual physical control of a motor vehicle, is intoxicated or has an alcohol concentration of 8 hundredths 0 0.08 or more in the person's breath or blood. Or, under 21 only, the person is underage under the age of 21 and is arrested for any offense arising out of an act alleged to have been committed while the underage person was driving while under the influence or driving while there was an alcohol concentration of two hundredths 0 0.02 but less than eight hundredths 0 0.08 in his or her breath or blood or under 21 the person is underage and is stopped by a law enforcement officer who has reasonable cause to believe that the underage person while operating or in actual physical control of a motor vehicle is under the influence or has an alcohol concentration of 200 point zero point zero two but less than 800 zero point zero eight in his or her breath or blood if you refuse to take the test or test none will be given to you but you will subject yourself to the penalties provided by law which includes but is not limited to the suspension or revocation of your driving privileges and if you are a commercial driver's license holder the disqualification of your commercial drive commercial driving privileges you would put your initials on that first line. Okay. No, no, right here, right here. Just your, just your initials. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be able to give you a chemical test because we ain't got nobody who can work this and I don't have any, I don't have any P tests, so, uh, Still gonna be charged with DWI, okay? Okay. What's the next thing? Oh, I gotta finish reading over this. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna let you call somebody to come up here and get you. But they have to sign a form saying they're responsible for you for the next 12 hours. Okay? You can go ahead and sit back down. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to see. If you choose to take the test or tests, and the result results reflect an alcohol concentration of 800.08 or more or the presence of controlled substance or any other intoxicant, your driving privilege will be suspended or revoked. And if you are the holder of a commercial driver's license, your commercial driving privileges will be disqualified. Go ahead and sign that one, or initial it. The second one. Right here. Right here. No, no, no. Up here. Yep. You don't have a commercial motor vehicle license. You're not under 21. If you take the test or test requested by law enforcement, you may you may also, at your own expense, have a physician, registered nurse, lab technician, or other qualified person of your choice administer an additional breath, blood, or urine test. 
This department will assist you in obtaining such a test if you choose to have an additional test and are later found not guilty of violation of the Omnibus DWI Act or the Underage DUI Law for this arrest, the arresting law enforcement agency will reimburse you for the cost of the additional test. Do you understand what I just read you? Okay.